So depression is another common complication after uh, brain injury. It's, when, it's the most common mood disorder that occurs after brain injury. And so it really for, for rehab physicians and other uh, caregivers and healthcare practitioners dealing with, with people who've had brain injury, it's a good idea to keep this in mind uh, because depression, um, whether it's in the setting of brain injury or not, can have uh, an important effect on cognition um, and, and that obviously has implications for how people recover after their injury. Neurotransmitters are an important uh, component of, of uh, all elements of brain functioning, um, including, the, we think, the development of post-traumatic depression. And so we are seeing some genetic susceptibility uh, markers involving uh, neurotransmitter systems that have previously been implicated in depression and also in other um, types of, of uh, brain chemicals called neurotrophins and the ability that neurotrophins might have to help resist the development of depression after brain injury. And what we find very intriguing about the neurotrophin connection to depression is that neurotrophins can be very easily manipulated by uh, environment, your environment and, what, and activity. So exercise is a potent stimulator of neurotrophins. And so as a rehab physician, looking at, at chemicals that can be Im impacted by activity, by exercise, are very encouraging for us because we would hope to be able to uh, identify treatment strategies that might actually manipulate the physiology in a positive way to help either prevent the development or at least lessen the severity of depression that people do go through often after their injury.